Hello and a warm welcome to everyone. A very bright good afternoon um, to all the friends, followers and fans. It's the new year, the start of a new decade, uh, 2021. And uh, obviously, uh, Happy New Year greetings to all of you from uh, uh, from the All India Football Federation and uh, um, and, um, and Indian football. Well, uh, we uh, this is the new year, the start of the new decade and we thought it this AIFF chat show had to be, TV's chat show had to be special. And hence we have um, uh, come with a very, very special guest. Uh, you may be aware as to who our guest is. It's an international figure. Uh, it's someone who's, um, who's the national captain of the Bangladesh national team. He's in a country. He's in fact in uh, Kolkata uh, to be um, all set to be playing for Mohammedan Sporting in the uh, forthcoming Hero I League, which kicks off from the 9th of January. Um, Mr. Jamal Bhuiya, we are waiting for him to join us. He's our guest today. Um, my friends, followers and fans would be remembering uh, how much of a stellar role uh, Jamal did play uh, in the last match uh, when India um, uh, played Bangladesh. The two countries met at the Yuva Bharati Kirangan in Kolkata itself. So, so Jamal Bhuiya would be live with us. So we are looking forward to him joining us. Uh, 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 new, uh, new Year wishes uh, from all of us at here at Indian Football. Uh, 2020 was a year full of challenges and we only hope that um, 2021 brings with renewed vigour all the optimism and, um, and, uh, and, and the good um, uh, days uh, back again from the new normal to the original normal which uh, we always uh, are accustomed to. So let 2021 be shining and God bless everyone. New Year wishes uh, to all of you. We are still waiting for Jamal Bhuiya to be joining us. Uh, not yet, just waiting for him. He's uh, currently in um, in Kolkata in quarantine um, uh, and uh, all set. Uh, we were speaking to him in the morning and he's all set, all raring to go as and when the Hero I League action starts. Uh, uh, still waiting for him. Lot many uh, fans have joined us. Arjun Patel uh, says hi. Uh, Afif says hi. A happy New Year, Harsh Mittal. Happy New Year to you too. Also, at the same time, a warm welcome to all uh, the viewers and brothers and sisters from Bangladesh. We understand that uh, there's a um, lot much of a following of this chat in Bangladesh uh, because obviously, for obvious reasons, uh, Mr. Jamal Bhuiya is supposed to be joining us. Uh, we are waiting for send a request for him. Uh, Mr. Jamal is still not getting through to him. Uh, just bear with us, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You'd be... Uh, here with us very very soon. Uh, uh, the Hero I League is um, is uh, would obviously be played under the bio bubble. If I can just reiterate as to what is happening uh, with the Hero I League, all teams would be stationed in two hotels and entirely into the bio bubble. And um, uh, just give me a sec. Let me check. Uh, 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 not yet. Not yet. Uh, uh, um, 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 the Hero I League would be played in, uh, in the bio bubble. All the teams would be uh, playing under the bio bubble, wherein no one from outside would be able to or allowed to be meeting anyone. Uh, still uh, waiting for Mr. Bhuya to be joining us. Uh, uh, let me check. I've uh, already sent him a request. Uh, uh, still not able to get through to him. Uh, uh, Mr. Jamal Bhuya would be would be joining us, um, player par excellence, uh, the uh, national team captain of uh, of the of the Bangladesh national team. Uh, searching for him, uh, uh, not able to space him as yet. See him as yet. Uh, uh, I'm not sure whether. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, no, just waiting for him. Uh, not yet waiting for him, so um, uh, we have to wait for him for some time. Otherwise, we come back again uh, uh, just in another minute, um, just after rechecking with him. Maybe some technical glitches and issues uh, on the other side. That always happens. Technical issues are something which we obviously can't um, can't control. Uh, not the best. Uh, uh, still not there, Mr. Jamal Muya. Give me a sec. Uh, Jamal on the road. Uh, um, I've sent Mr. Jamal Bhuiya another invite. I trust you'll be joining us very, very soon. Uh, I trust, and there he is, the captain of the Bangladesh national team. Uh, happy New Year, my captain, and uh, lovely to be having you amongst us. Extremely honoured. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. 
The pleasure is entirely ours and the entire country of India, the national team captain of Bangladesh. We call him captain. Uh, obviously not the pleasant captain. He played a stellar role in the last match where India and Bangladesh played. Uh, we did not like him for that, but obviously the qualities of uh, Jamal Bhuiya, no one can deny. Lovely and it means a lot, uh, Mr. Bhuiya, as you join us. Thank you. Thank you for, so much. To, you know, um, it's a pleasure to be here in India and I'm so excited to, to start the league. Uh, every everyone is um, uh, um, to start the league. Um, there are not many fan questions, uh, Mr. Jamal, which has come to us. If I start the first one with Mr. Jewel, who says, "What prompted you to come to India and play league football?" You mentioned about league football, play league football for Mohammedan Sporting. What you know? What was it? It was I wanted a new challenge because I've been in Bangladesh for a few years now. And I kind of know all the players and all the coaches, all the clubs in Bangladesh. So, so when I got the opportunity to join Mohammedan, I thought about it and I spoke with my family about it. And I said, you know what, let me just check this challenge and see what I can do. That's, that's why. Oh, definite um, challenges are what uh, makes a man. There are a lot many fans from Bangladesh who have joined us. Ahmad Mahim, hello, sir. I'm from Bangladesh. Greetings from India and Happy New Year to all of you. Apnade Shokul ke Imtiaz joins us from uh, Bangladesh. Um, Happy New Year. Shokul e bhalo thakben. Uh, lovely to see fans from Bangladesh. I cannot take names of each and every one. But um, it means a lot that the fans from across uh, the border are uh, watching us and uh, lending us their support. Um, Mr. Jamal, uh, there's an um, uh, comment uh, about you or an uh, anecdote from Mr. Wasi Makram, the General Secretary of your club. We got in touch with him and asked him a very blatant question. Why did you opt for Jamal Bhuiya to be playing where in most other club, uh, uh, clubs uh, rope in players from other countries of Asia? And he said, this is exactly what he said. Jamal is a champion. Irrespective of him being the national team captain of Bangladesh, he is one of the best defensive midfielders in the Asian continent at present. He brings in that extra hunger and the champion's mentality into the squad we believe he will be covering every blade of grass and do justice to his role. So that comes from your general secretary. And obviously, you are a champion. We all know that. And yeah, one of the best um, is carry big, on. Big, big, big words from our general secretary, Wasim Bai. Uh, you know, it's, it's my job to prove that I'm a champion. It's my job to prove that... that that is, you know, Mohammedan didn't make a mistake by bringing me here. And I have to prove that. And I know that. And, you know, as a footballer, you have, a, you have different kinds of pressure. And I think this pressure for, for me is, is very healthy because, you know, if there's no pressure, it's not funny for me. So, so I, 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 I'm going to take this challenge every day and um, I'm going to do my best every day. Well, that would be music music to the ears of all the Mohammedan sporting fans, but not music to the ears of all the rival fans of the rival teams, um, obviously. And that makes you a champion that you thrive on the pressure, Mr. Jamal. Uh, uh, there's a, another question. We go ahead. Um, uh, how much uh, research have you done prior to joining uh, Indian football or the Hero ID? Have you done any research about it? Yeah, I have, actually. I, I spoke with a few people uh who knew Mohammedan. So I spoke, we spoke about Mohammedan and how big club it was and how big the history was. Even I spoke with the assistant coach for Bangladesh national team, Stuart Watkins. And he told me that it was, you know, it's, it's one of the biggest clubs in India and the history is huge and the fan, ba fan base is also huge. And he told me if I was you, I would go there. So, you know, that also helped me Welcome. Make, make me take my decision. Definitely. Why not? The similar culture of Bangladesh and Kolkata. Uh, as in Bengali, we say bhabak, bhashayak, bhalo bhashayak. Um, do you feel at home in Kolkata, Mr. Jamal? Yeah, I think there's no big difference from being in Dhaka. You know, I think maybe the traffic is a little bit less here. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> I think the food, the culture the language, uh, the people is, you know, it's almost the same. So I, I kind of feel home here. 
definite uh, home away from home. I also have a kind of a Bangladesh connection because my mom was born in Dhaka, my dad was born in Borishal. So uh, oh. I understand the sentiment, the sentiment and the and the culture of both the both the countries. Uh, so I have a bit of link in Bangladesh as well, Mr. Jamal. <laughs> That's good to hear. That's good to hear. I, that's music to my ear. <laughs> I've been I've been to Bangladesh a lot many times. I've been even to Borishal. I've been lucky enough to be to the ancestral homes and the love which I always received in Bangladesh or we received in Bangladesh has been always a tremendous and a huge and a, one of the biggest memories, the best memories of life so far. Uh. <laughs> Um, uh, staying with Kolkata, that match, India versus Bangladesh, uh, wherein uh, we felt our wise Jamal Boyan playing so well in that match, midway into the match, we started saying this. Uh, what's, what was the best memory of that match, Mr. Jamal? Uh, I think it was the atmosphere. And, you know, the, the atmosphere was electrifying that night. Uh, even though it's a, it was a draw, I still think it was like, it was a match, you know, that had that atmosphere like a 3-3 match or 4-4 game or something like that. So it's just, it was just electrifying and, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't shout to the, you know, you, you couldn't speak with you, to your team players because there was so much noise. And, you know, as a player, that's what you want. You know, you want the noise. You want people screaming, shouting, cursing at you. That's what you love as a player. And that motivates me you know, to, to even play better because when you face, you know, adversity, when you face people are against you, that's that's the moment you have to be strong and you have to, you know, go on. But unlikely for us, you know, it was a drop and uh, India, you guys, you scored in the last minute. So, but it was it was a great match for me. It was a great match and you were outstanding in that match. The atmosphere then just uh, ignited you on more. Yeah, especially yeah, you know the you know in the warm up it was, it was you know when I entered the field I was like, what the hell man? Did this gonna be? It's gonna be a great night tonight. So so that kind of you know turned me on when I went to the to the warm up, and you know I didn't want to lose to India because in the in the pre press conference, I remember all the journalists, they were telling me, so how much are you going to lose? 3-0, 4-0? How, how will you take this defeat uh, tomorrow? And stuff like that. I was like, what are you talking about, guys? You know, so, so that also motivated me. Uh, we had, um, ladies and gentlemen, for information of everyone, we had 50, around 50, 5 zero journalists who traveled from uh, Bangladesh to India just to cover that match. Uh, it was um, uh, very nice making new friends, meeting old pals and um, so many traveling journalists in an international match. Um, it, it was an entirely different atmosphere on that day, definitely without any doubt. Uh, leading to a fan question, uh, Mr. Jamal uh, Shubranil asked this question. You were born in Denmark uh, and have honed your skills in Denmark, which is an entirely different footballing environment. This is a question which has also been asked by many fans uh, in the live chat right now. Why didn't you pick up a club in Denmark and play there permanently? Yeah, I also ask myself that. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I, I've been through a lot in my life. Uh, I grew up in, you know, every country has a, has a dark spot. And in Denmark, unfortunately for me, I grew up in that dark spot. But at the same time, I played in the in the biggest club in Denmark, FC Copenhagen. And and when I was uh, 16 years old, I was going home from school and I got shot four times uh, in my elbow and three times in my in my body. Uh, and there was there, this was a uh, home. I was going home from, a, you know, from the school and I was shot because there was a gang shooting going on. So, so I was out of the football for what, one, one half year, I couldn't play, I couldn't do anything. I was just in a hospital bed. And, you know, when you're in the hospital bed and you lay there alone every day, you think a lot and you think a lot about what you have to do with your life uh, and what you dreams are and 
you know so 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 when i was in that bed first of all i got an obsession of being you know i have to make it to to playing a pro uh another thing was i need to see the world i need to see you know another part of denmark i don't want to live in denmark forever uh so so that was also one of the reasons i joined bangladesh oh, and another one was my parents they always spoke about bangladesh when i was a little kid uh they always spoke about the motherland how beautiful it was and if i could make a difference there they sh- they told me you know you should do it uh, uh because you can always come back to denmark and and live a, a good life and a pleasant life but you c- but you can also take challenges in your life so so that's what i did and that was one of the big reasons why i i came to bangladesh uh, you know i could have stayed in denmark i could have played in a club i could have got decent money and i could have have t- take the easy path uh, but i chose this way and i, I don't regret it uh, you know i have you know i have friends two friends one of them playing in valencia in spain his name is daniel vas um i grew up with him he's my childhood friend so he 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 became something and another guy is called De- uh, thomas delaney he plays in dortmund um i played with him for five or six years in fc copenhagen and you know he's a big star now in denmark and they always tell me if you stayed here you you could have done the same but I took another path and I think I'm I'm okay I done on okay because in Bangladesh I think everybody knows me and that say something about me Definitely we didn't we didn't know that story of uh, of you uh, receiving shots in your elbow and parts of your body my good that you survived a um, uh, lot many fans from Bangladesh a lot lot many fans of Bangladesh welcome uh, have joined you my uh, uh referring to you as jb6 uh, jamal bhuiya 6 uh, gb6 so i'll refer to you as jb6 uh, rather than mr jamal that name uh, obviously comes with much more respect jb6 for a footballer uh, uh, you have seen the structure of denmark um, uh, when how how is it different from the footballing structure which we have in the subcontinent i think the development is very different uh because in denmark you, already from your the age of 5 6 7 they all, they put you in different categories and they try to develop you uh in in let's say in bangladesh it's it's when you 14 15 that thing starts so they develop in a later age compared to denmark where already when you 5 6 they already start with the basics and then it go easy easy easily up uh, so that's a big difference and you know they put a lot of weight on the youth development because they know the youth one day they they're going to be the future and that's also why a lot of danish players they they play in the big league now uh especially premier league uh serie a spain so 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 they they try to to do the best for the youth people um compared to if you you know go to india and bangladesh of course they also want to do it but but in denmark they just put so much pressure to the kids uh, to to you know to play well to eat well to do some extra mm-hmm. practice got your point uh, catching them young younger in fact as younger as youngest as you can uh, catch them jamal uh, buya jb6 says about uh, the structure in denmark where he was born um, uh, we need to go back to your goal against qatar on the 23 that was a historical goal uh, against qatar and uh, that was an historical goal not just for you but in the history of uh, bangladesh football wherein uh, that enabled uh, your country to be um qualifying to the knockout stage in the asian cups uh, what what do you remember of that match of that historic match oh i re- i remember you know because we we lived in the same hotel as kata and kata they came to indonesia with private with a private flight and you know they had all these extra people helping them and they were like spoiled kids 
and even in the hotel they they if you said hello to them or hi to them they wouldn't respond they were very arrogant to us so before that match i was like you know what i'm gonna we will see this match and going into the game it was a tough match but i think i scored in the 92 minute or something like that and i thought to myself you know we cannot we cannot finish this match draw against these guys so in the end i gave everything and you got you know i got the ball and uh made a shot and it went in and people got crazy obviously there was a reason to be crazy but um, uh, gb6 you are letting out some secrets so never antagonize uh, jamal bhuiya prior to a match never never ever antagonize otherwise that re- that ignites him <laughs> and obviously <laughs> is that extra a- extra thing for him to be giving his best that's a secret you are letting out some secrets gb6 <laughs> a <laughs> uh, lot lot many happy new year captain messages uh, from both the countries um, uh, from bangladesh as well as from india a um, uh, lot many um, from all over the country uh, some bangladeshi fans uh, right now they are not sending anything uh, as and when they come in definitely i'll be letting you know uh, there's a fan question from uh, shougato or uh, shougato he says uh, you are the brand ambassador uh, mr jamal of bangladesh football Uh, and presently you are in india what's your message to fans from both the countries the my message to both of the countries you know i want both of the countries to develop more i want both of the countries to you know play in the big tournaments you know do well put put india and put bangladesh on the map in the world map and and show the other countries that these two countries they can play you know india have been doing so well the last few years you know they they went to top 100 in the rankings which is a, a tremendous tremendous achievement uh, and you know we and bangladesh they have they have to follow india because you know india is on the right path and i hope bangladesh will would be on the right path as as well so, so so i want to say you know just just keep going and keep doing what you believe in and then sooner or later you you'll be you'll be good because if you look at a country like iceland iceland has 3 lakh 300000 people and they went to the world cup india there's 1 billion people why cannot india go to the world cups if if iceland can yeah both countries together uh, maybe sometime in the very near future um, uh, jamal bhuiya leading the bangladesh uh, national team and someone from our side uh, into the world cup you never know you speak about uh, football in india um, uh, there's a question from mr rithvik uh, 1101 how do you see india as an opponent rithvik asks you jb6 mm, as a, as a opponent opponent um I see them as a big brother when I play them. Every time I played against India, I, I always seen them as a as a big brother. I always seen them as somebody I want to beat because, you know, it's it's like a big brother for me. So so that's how I see uh, how I see India. Big brother that he says Jaya Hussain joins from Bangladesh. Hi Najmul underscore five to seven uh, joins from Bangladesh high to you as well uh, uh, there's a fan question moving on uh, GB6 to uh, from Mr. Jibon uh, Jibon asks what are your expectations from the hero I think my expectations you know for, for the for the Mohammedan sporting club is, yeah, yeah, a, yeah. Who, who just promoted to the first division and and people are talking about we are title contenders uh, and that's that's as that's a huge thing because it's not it's not normal that you see a team who just promoted to a higher league that they are already the title contenders and um, that's not normal uh, you don't you don't see you don't say you know you didn't tell Leeds United when they promoted to the Premier League oh they will be title contenders and the same the same with Mohammedan of course everybody has high but uh, expectations everybody you know we want to win the league i want to win the league 
but we have to re be realistic. Uh, but I, I'm go my expectation is I'm going to take one match at the time, and then the the more the game goes on, the more I can say we we can be title contenders. Uh, uh, but you cannot just promote to a league and then say we will be title contenders. I don't I don't think that's right. Uh, you have to. After ten, after ten matches, you you can you you can say where your level is. You can say where the team is, and you can say which directing direction you're going through. Without any doubt, uh, that's the thought process of uh, Mr. Jamal Bui, and that makes him the special player and the reason um, people call him the champion. Uh, take one match at a time, and after ten matches, maybe you are in a position to ask. Uh, and uh, assess yourself where you stand. Uh, another fan question, Mr. Jamal, is from uh, Laksh. And Laksh asks, how do you stay calm in the big matches um, or your mindset when you are against a tougher team? That's from Anura. Both the questions can be clubbed and answered. How do you stay calm in big matches and what's your mindset when you take on tougher teams? Uh, in the big matches... You know, it's a fu it's a funny thing because when I play the big matches, you always have butterflies in your in your stomach and you always feel the pressure. So, so what I do is I always think about my childhood. I always think about playing in the streets. I always think about why did I play football because it's funny. So that is what I always think about if I don't want to. You know, what if I'm in a big game and then, you know, when you have these memories of you in an early age where you're playing in the streets and having fun with your, your childhood friends, that's, that is what makes me, you know, think about, okay, I can play with anyone. I don't feel any pressure. That's what I do. Definitely. Um, uh playing without any pressure. Uh, Akhtar3953 uh, uh, asks uh, JB6, what's your New Year resolution, uh, Captain? <laughs> that will be winning the first match in the Hero I League and, and then meet my teammates because I've been in quarantine for a long time now. Um, and then of course, my ultimate goal is to win the to win the I League. Uh, that's my ultimate goal. But as I said before, I have to be realistic. I have to take one game at a time, and the first match is the most important match in your career. Have you personally uh, kind of tried to find out how your rival teams uh, have are shaping up and their strengths uh, in the Hero I League? I've I've looked at the other teams, but I haven't, you know, gone through them because I I, I honestly don't know their level yet. Uh, you know, I haven't seen their matches because I think most of the teams they have new players. Um, but I think after two three weeks, I will have a a, a more clear w vision of which team you know and which players to to look at. Definite with uh, time, uh, he says that he'll be understanding. Uh, fans from Bangladesh, Razveer says Jamal Bhuiyam uh, um, sends a love. Uh, Azar Orion, our captain, our pride, is also the pride of Mohammedan sporting. Uh, um, Rufali says hi. Um, uh, uh, SRV um, uh, says hi. Lot many. Um, uh, uh, fans are joining us and saying hi. Uh, Sangeeta has a fan question from you, uh, JB6, and she asks the fact that the Hero I League will be played in Kolkata only this time under the new normal, it's not a home and away match. Does that allow you to be settling down faster and uh, it helps you any bit because it's the same culture? Uh, for me, I was actually happy that it is going down in Kolkata because it's close to Dhaka. The language is, is Bangla. And I've been here a few times, so I kind of know Kolkata very well. So for me, you know, it's it's good. I think for some other players who are from outside of Kolkata, they, they, they won't like it to be in Kolkata for the next three, four months. No, no, no problem from uh, Jamal's side. When does your quarantine end, by the way? Tomorrow, day after? I think the day after tomorrow is going to end and then I'll be 
finally back on the pitch. I see day after tomorrow, uh, it ends and finally back on the pitch. Uh, just a live question from Mr. Prasanna Krishna. Uh, Krishnan, uh, he asks, uh, how did you keep yourself fit during the quarantine period? Lot many uh, players all over the world have done to stay, tried their best to stay in proper condition. What did you do? Uh, the, after breakfast, I do some exercises. We have a WhatsApp group in the Mohammedan Sporting Club. Uh, where our fitness coach, he gives a, a program. So I try to follow that program and then I have my own exercises. And in the evening, I have my friend, uh, also known as YouTube, where I look at videos, how to, to, to do some exercises, which is good for the body to, to keep myself fit. So that's a, that is what I do. Looking to get back on the pitch, uh, Jamal Bhuyama, day after tomorrow, the quarantine period ends. Some random questions from the fans. Uh, Anirudh Bhumi asked this question, which has also been asked by Aryan and a lot many others. Who's your idol, uh, JV6? Uh, Life-wise is my father, because my father has always, you know, he always worked hard to, to provide for me and my brothers. Uh, and football-wise, I, I would say it's uh, Ronaldo Nazario, the original one, and Zinedine Zidane. Um, I always looked up to them. Ronaldo, the, he, when he played in Inter Milan, that was my first football jersey. So that's why I like Ronaldo. And Zidane, he's just a tremendous player. Ronaldo and Zidane, uh, two big names. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, Jamal Bouya's favorite. Um, uh, Philip asks, uh, do you keep a tab of the Indian national team as and when they play, the team in general or any specific players? That's a question asked by Philip. Uh, sometimes I do, not every time because mostly I'm busy with my own games uh, when they are playing, but sometimes uh, I follow them. I, I really do. You really do. Ma, ma. There's a question from Tota Paki. That's a nice name, Tota Paki. Uh, he asks, he or she, the individual asks, uh, do you play any other sports too, Mr. Jamal? Uh, I follow boxing and I follow basket basketball. Um, but I always play football. Football has always been my priority um you know before i came to bangladesh i didn't even know what cricket was i never saw it before then i came to bangladesh and that was the time i i saw cricket for the first time i didn't know there was something called cricket before that so i always been following football my whole life well, um, the, you coming from Bangladesh, um, in the 80s, there were a lot many other notable Bangladeshi players who came and played in uh, India, applied their trade in uh, Kolkata clubs. Do you feel this, this opens up uh, more doors for more Bangladeshi players to be coming and playing in India in the near future, Mr. Jamal? Uh, it's a good question because uh, I've been thinking about it and, and uh, I think if if I play well here and I, if I do well here uh, the, in the upcoming months and I can do a difference, I think there will be a window for the other clubs to, to look at the Bangladeshi players and, and, and say, you know what, they have some good players. Uh, Jamal, he did well. Uh, let's, let's look if there's other players we can, we can get uh, into the I-League. Into the um, so yeah, and I, I know Bangladesh, they, all the people there in Bangladesh, they're following me and I get so many questions about where they can watch the Hero I League, uh, which channel and what time and give me the schedule of, of your matches. So, so I know there's a lot of people following me in, in Bangladesh. Definitely, they will be and um, they won't be disappointed for sure uh, following the national team captain. One of the last questions uh, from Amin Shan uh, and uh, it's asked, uh, it's been asked, what's your message for young footballers who want to emulate you or become like you? My message would be, you know, if you, if you, 
if you are in a club and you practice, let's say one time a day, I think one time a day is not enough to become a footballer. You have to put that extra work in um, because, you know, you have 24 hours in a day. You sleep maybe eight and you practice maybe one and a half. You can still manage to practice one more hour uh, because you still have a lot of time. And, and if you don't practice that extra one, you know, that extra session or you, whatever you do, if it's gym or football, you, you know, in the, in, the, in the end, it will be very benefiting for you if, if you do some extra. Um, because when you're young, you think about, ah, I just played practice one and a half hour. I'm good for today. But, but it's that extra thing you do that will make the difference compared to, you, compared to other players. So that will be my advice to them. Well, words of advice, uh, words of wisdom coming on from the Bangladesh national team captain, GB6, Mr. Jamal Bhunya. Fardin Islam Likon, uh, Jamal, support from Italy. So someone's following us, uh, you from Italy also. Um, um, one of the most followed uh, footballing stars uh, of uh, Bangladesh and in this region. Uh, good luck, uh, Mr. Jamal. And it's been, been an absolute honor on behalf of Indian football to be hosting you and having you with us. Uh, this show means a lot. The new year, we believe, has begun in the right spirit. Uh, the Indo-Bangla cultural relations and the bilateral relations, footballing relations. Uh, lovely having you. And Thanks. good luck for the Hero I League. Thank good you. luck for the Hero I League. Any hero, any, any new year messages for your fans prior to we switching off? Follow Hero I League. It's going to be amazing this year. It is to be. It is going to be amazing this year. Thank you, thank you, GB6. Thank you, Jamal Boya, Mr. Jamal, whatever I call you. Absolute honor. Uh, take care, stay safe, and look forward to be following you on the pitch. Uh, thank you. Bye bye, and take care.